Through its walls, in every steel beam, on every seat, lies a richness of history, memories, tradition. Through its years, millions have passed through its gates to experience an atmosphere unlike anything on this planet. It has been home to legends, legends of the game. Its massive structure supports and produces some of the loudest man-made noises in this world. It's the only place you will find a 100,000-piece choir singing to one of the greatest bands ever. Blood, sweat, and tears have been shed by those who have given their all in this massive cathedral. Every seat, every room, every yard line, every inch of it has a story to tell. Generations upon generations have made the journey to pass down family traditions so that it may be passed down for generations to come. People stand in awe of its massive gates, structure, and history. Opposing teams are fearful as they make their way onto its battlefield. It has shown us some of the greatest battles in the history of the game. Through the best times and dark times, it has stood. It has weathered every bad storm that has come its way. On eight Saturdays in the fall, it becomes the best atmosphere in college football. Millions tune in around the world to witness the best fans, the best tradition, the best games. It is loved by all and feared by many. To many, it is home. To all, it is Neyland Stadium. This modern-day Coliseum is unlike anything of its kind in the world. Fans all over Vol Nation and the world come to experience Neyland Stadium's true wonder and might. Neyland Stadium has had a long journey to become the Neyland Stadium we love today. It was decided in 1919 that the University of Tennessee needed a new athletic field. Shield Watkins Field, named in honor of Alice Watkins Shield, was completed in March of 1921. At the time of its beginning, only the West Stands existed seating only 3,200. By 1938, the stadium grew to more than 10 times its original size. In 1962, the west upper deck and the press box were added to the stadium, bringing the total capacity to 52,227. During the 60s, the decade and the greatest capacity change, the stadium grew by nearly 18,000 seats. By 1980, the seating capacity grew to a resounding 92,249. 1980 also brought the addition of the North Stands, adding up to 10,999 seats, the largest addition in the stadium's history. Neyland Stadium surpassed the 100,000 mark in 1996 with the completion of the North Upper Deck and completing and closing the Upper Bowl. Today, the stadium has reached a capacity of 102,455. Capacity is not the only reason of the greatness of Neyland Stadium. The stadium is located steps away from the Tennessee River and lies in the foothills of the Great Smoky Mountains. It has been claimed to be the perfect site for college football. In 2004, the university announced its crown jewel would be renovated to keep its beauty and prepare it for the future. Since the announcement, nearly 100 million plus dollars have been poured into the stadium. The additions include the widening of corridors in the older parts of the stadium, the new Stokely Family Media Room, the renovation of the Paid Manning Locker Room, and the creation of Gate 21 Plaza and Facade. By the beginning of 2010, 60% of Neyland Stadium has been renovated. 
Though a new era of Tennessee football and Neyland Stadium is taking shape, we cannot forget those who have gone, the orange and white, and sacrificed a great deal to build up Neyland Stadium and Tennessee football. Neyland Stadium is home to some of the greatest players who have sported the power team. Legends such as defensive end Doug Atkins, most dominant SEC player from 1950 to 1975. Defensive end Reggie White, 32 sacks, 293 total tackles. Linebacker Al Wilson, 272 total tackles, 11 sacks, 11 fumble recoveries. Safety Eric Berry, 245 total tackles, 14 interceptions, 17 and a half tackles for loss. And the great Peyton Manning, 11,201 career passing yards, 89 touchdowns, 300 passing yards or more in 18 games. Legendary coaches Doug Dickey, Johnny Majors, Philip Fomer, and the great General Robert Neely have grazed its sidelines. From the first opening of the T in the 60s, to the first playing of Rocky Top, to the playing of the Tennessee Waltz after each home game, Neyland Stadium is riddled with history and tradition, a history and tradition that is unrivaled in college football. On Saturdays in the fall, a monster awakens. That is Neyland Stadium and Tennessee football. Brothers go to war with one another, risking injury in hopes of victory. If there is no sacrifice for one another, the team in itself will collapse. It's not about how much you play, but how hard you play. Relentless effort expected. Giving up, never an option. No error. No excuses. A foundation created by General Robert Neyland himself. The team that makes the fewest mistakes will win. Play for and make the breaks, and when one comes your way, score. If at first the game or the breaks go against you, don't let up. Put on more steam. Protect our kickers, our quarterback, our lead, and our ball game. Ball, Oski, cover. Block, cut and slice, pursue and gain tackle, for this is the winning edge. Press the kicking game, here is where the breaks are made. Carry the fight to our opponent and keep it there for 60 minutes. For decades, thousands of Tennessee players have echoed these words to create a winning mentality, season, and history. On the battlefield known as Shield Watkins Field, the winning edge has been achieved 398 times and 74 winning records recorded at Neyland Stadium. On this battlefield, dreams have been granted, hopes destroyed, champions have been crowned, and legends have been born. This place is not for the faint-hearted or the weak. It is for those ready to give their all. It's been a long road to return back to prominence, but the end of the road is near and offers great rewards and hope for those who have stuck to the path. Right now, as the men of Tennessee football prepare for their season, as the fans of all nation dream of great success, as opponents mark their calendars in anticipation of playing in Knoxville, Neyland Stadium sits in silence. You see, 
Elon Stadium is nothing without those who have poured blood, sweat, and tears into that field. It's nothing without those who live and breathe Tennessee football. It's nothing without those who gave their all for Tennessee on any given Saturday in the fall. Boys are turning to men, and champions discovered on this hallowed ground. Tennessee football is not about individual success. It's about giving something bigger than any one person. This place is sacred. Where else can you find a fan base that can create a massive checkerboard? Where else can you enjoy the presence of a 100,000-piece choir? Tell me! On Saturdays in the fall, Neon Stadium becomes a living, breathing monster that intimidates even the best opponents. It's soaked in history, and the presence of all-time greats fills the atmosphere. Go to any college stadium and you won't find anything close to compare to this team, this fan base, this stadium. It's time to step into that new era of becoming champions once again. Time to take back what's ours. Give your all or get out. Nothing less. No exceptions. No excuses. This is Rocky Top. This is Tennessee football. This is Leland Stadium. It's football time in Tennessee.